my family, amazing singer and rapper Jerry Rowe, who will be performing at the Invictus Games 2025, attended the 58th annual CMA Awards. While there, he was asked, of course, about Prince Harry. Now, my family, I want you to hear exactly what Jelly Roll said about meeting Prince Harry. My family, hear this uh, yourself. Um, for sure. And you're hanging out with Prince Harry. What's that all what about? What dude, Prince Harry, dude? What a dude. The Duke of Sussex, man. He's the guy. <laughs> um, he was awesome. What a sweet guy, man. I don't know how familiar you are with the Invictus Games, but, man, what they're doing with that is just one of the greatest acts of humanity and bringing people together I've ever seen and honoring those that deserve to be honored and I'm honored to get to do it wow awesome. my family you've had that yourself you know what Jelly Roll said my family you know he loves the work that the Invictus Games is doing I love it I love it I love it I love it now my family all of you know that just a couple of days ago a video was released of uh, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, with my family at East Side Inc. with Jelly Roll, whereby they were filming a promo for the Invictus Games 2025. Let me remind you of uh, that video, please, kindly. Uh, take a look around. Can we get you anything? Um... I'm all right. Is he going to be here anytime soon? Oh, yeah. He should be here very promptly. I hear he's always on time. Is this, where, this is where people get tattooed, right? It is. It's the tattoo chair uh, and the tattoo station. And yeah. uh, you know what? Hey, hey, love you. hey, hey tattoos. Hey, make it up. Hey. What's up, man? Hey, 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 Do you know I could not believe it when they called me and told me Prince Harry wanted to get a tattoo today? He wanted me to give him his first tattoo? Uh, no, 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 no. It's Why just the coolest thing. Why are you up? We're giving you a tattoo about the Invictus Games. Uh, no, I came here to ask you to do, do the Invictus Games. There's no tattoo in this. I can't get a tattoo. I'll play the Invictus Games. You're just going to give me your first tattoo. You give me a tattoo, and then you come and play the Invictus Games. That easy of a deal. All right, screw it. Let's go. Let's do it. Where you want it? We got to go for the neck. The neck? Yeah, I was yes. thinking, like, my lower back or one more. No. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to see your hair. Well, this is the place where I was going to see it. This is for the world. I'm thinking, like, here, let me just show Let me just. Wait, have you done this before? But <laughs> you know, practically, uh, pretty much. Trust me, man. You wouldn't want nobody else doing this but me. A right, small one, yeah. If I can pay to get his first haircut, just okay. Yeah, I should have had a win. <laughs> okay. The feel big, man. Commitment, Prince. Ah! Whoa, whoa. <sighs> this is why they love you. This is gonna be huge, man. I'm telling you. What's that? It's awesome, right? Dude, it's enormous. Invictus Games are enormous. What does that say? The bottom. The bottom. Is that your name? Does that say Jelly Roll? No. You put your name on my neck? Yes. You know what? I gotta go. Wait, 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 wait. Time. I'll see you in Vancouver. Are you Prince. serious? I'll see you there. Appreciate you. Oh, <laughs> shit. So my family, I have no idea if Prince Harry wants to maybe perhaps consider acting, being an actor. Because my family, I loved that comedy skit. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And I'm sure you did as well, my family. I am sure you did as well. My family, if Prince Harry can even consider, you know, my family acting in a movie or a series, I believe he's going to do incredibly well. And my family, I'll watch. I'll watch it. And I know you also will watch it as well. Now, my family, you've heard with your own two ears what Prince Harry has, what my family, Jelly Roll, said about Prince Harry. Prince Harry is an amazing guy. An amazing guy. Everyone who gets to meet Prince Harry says the exact same thing. Prince Harry is an amazing guy, a sweet guy. My family, what a dude, said Jelly Roll about Prince Harry. My family, the thing is, every single person who has met up, who has met Harry Meghan, only has but nice and wonderful things to say about Harry and Meghan. And my family, I love seeing it. I, I love seeing it. And my family, this is more proof that indeed the smear campaign against Harry and Meghan is a complete and total failure. However, 
allow me to say this. You all know that senior members of the royal family signed off on a press assault against Harry and Meghan and anyone in Harry and Meghan's circle. Meaning, my family, anybody who is close to Harry and Meghan, senior members of the royal family, William and Charles, have commanded their minions, the UK tabloids, to go after. And that's why you see, even people who take selfies with Prince Harry are or have been targeted, kissing point Prince Mario Max. For my family, who simply took a selfie with Prince Harry at the Living Legends of Aviation event, and my family, he was attacked for days, weeks, by the British tabloid press. My family, that video of Prince Harry with Jelly Roll, fantastic, amazing, wonderful. But my family, you and I both know, you knew deep inside of you. The moment you saw Harry with Jelly Roll, no matter what a kind person he is, or my family has become, UK media were always going to go after him. Let me tell you what happened. Now, the Daily Fail wrote an article with a headline saying this, and I quote, about Jelly Roll. And I quote, inside the tragic past of Prince Harry's tattoo artist, Jelly Roll, as Prince Harry stars in a spoof clip to promote the Invictus Games. You know? My family, here's what they said, my family. The viewers were charmed by the heavily inked artist who pretended to give Prince Harry a tattoo in a skit for the upcoming Invictus Games. But few may know the tale of how he turned his life around from criminal to charitable, loving father. My family... What's the point of discussing someone's, you know, tragic past if you yourself have admitted that he turned his life around? The only reason why they are doing this to Jelly Roll is because he was seen with Prince Harry. It's because he was seen with Prince Harry. Daily Mail and multiple other tablets have a problem with seeing Prince Harry and Meghan even standing next to my family, other superstars or other people who my family have influence. For example, we know for a fact that the Daily Mail want to harass the owner of the Eastside Inc. tattoo shop with questions about why Harry was even at Eastside Inc. And thankfully, Josh told them nothing. But really, it's so sick that five years later, after Harry and Meghan fled the UK, we are still seeing UK tablets harassing, stalking Harry and Meghan and anyone in Harry and Meghan's circle. My family. And they are doing what they're doing on orders of senior members of the royal family. They are following orders of William and Charles, who want to see Harry and Meghan isolated, who want to see that nobody, want to ensure that nobody wants to work with Harry and Meghan, or that if they work with Harry and Meghan, they know that they are going to be targeted. My family, that's what the UK tablets are doing. My family, by going after anyone in Harry and Meghan circle and Harry and Meghan themselves. My family, can you please just hear what they said about uh, Jelly Roll kindly? You know? That um, Jelly is a singer, songwriter with a country music twang who rose to fame 
after posting his music on YouTube while living out of a van. And that he began dealing drugs to support his mother before he hit puberty. And by the time he was in his mid-twenties, he had been in and out of jail 40 times. It was only when he became a father at the age of 23, while he was still in prison, that he decided to turn his life around. And the daily role embarked on a journey of sobriety and turned his focus to his music career, which took off upon meeting fellow rapper Lil White. You know? And Vita Topper found not only success, but solace in his music, which has earned him a string of award nominations and wins. Now, my family, let me just even pause there. I won't even, you know, read more of this. You and I both know why they decided to write such an article with a headline talking about Jelly Roll's tragic past. My found by all means, Jelly has shared his past. And my family, his, his life has completely turned around. And he's someone who's super happy, super jovial, as you've seen yourself. He is super happy. And my family, I love seeing it. I love seeing it. I love seeing it. But Daily Mail did what they did because they've been ordered and commanded by William and Charles to target anyone in Harry and Meghan's circle. That's why they even wrote this article with a headline talking about Jelly Roll's tragic past. My family, you and I, we all have a past. Even members of the royal family back in the UK who are tax pair funded are not saints. If they were, they would not be working with the evil, corrupt, bigoted, racist, British tabloid media. The fact is, they have no choice but to play ball with the UK tabloids owned by the Maddox Rockmeyers because the Maddox have so much dirt on the royals. Because the Rockmeyers who own Daily Mail have so much dirt on senior members of the royal family. And as Harry said himself, sadly, in the case of the UK media, instead of holding those in power to account, they choose to get into bed with them. They choose to hold even those in power to ransom. My family. Instead of holding them to account. My family. And that's why in the UK, the tabloid media industry is just extremely corrupt, unethical, bigoted, and so full of hate. You know, and sadly to see how they have, you know, monetized hate. It's painful to see. Painful. Because sadly lives have been ruined because of the toxic business model of the UK public media. And for a long time now, they have been targeting everyone who is linked to Harry Meghan. Everybody. Even anyone who takes a selfie with Harry is targeted. Even a person, my family, who's done a communist kit just to promote the Invictus Games, to bring a smile to the faces of sick, wounded, injured veterans, is sadly also being targeted by the Daily Mail. And also, don't forget this, Daily Mail doesn't like it when they see people praising Prince Harry. My family, they don't like it. Because number one, it destroys this narrative full of lies that they've been selling or spreading about Prince Harry and Meghan. You know? That they're the villains. Harry and Meghan have never ever been the villains. Harry and Meghan are good, remarkable human beings. Harry is someone who was the heart of his late mother Diana. He's a good man. A good man. 
And I'm so sorry to him for what he has even had to watch his wife go through. And I hope that he and Megan can keep on healing. You know, together as a couple, supporting each other in every single endeavor that they partake in. Now, my family, as I continue with my family, what I am uh, saying. First of all, thank you, Jelly Roll, for the wonderful things you said about Prince Harry. Once again, thank you. Once again, thank you. Thank you to those who have refused to be brainwashed by the toxic UK tabloids who have been lying about Harry and Meghan for the past like eight years now. Thank you so much, those who refuse to be brainwashed by the toxic British media. And, and my family, one thing also that I want to point, point out is that my family, I'm so happy that, you know, you can see that Jenny Roll, who will be performing my family at the Invictus Games 2025, my family, next year in February. I'm so happy that my family, he knows about the Invictus Games. He knows about the amazing work that the Invictus Games does. He knows about the lives that have been touched Thanks to the Victor's Games that Prince Harry founded. Thank you. I, I like that, Jerry Roll. I like that, Jerry Roll. I like someone who my family does research. I like that. Which is contrary to what we have seen from people who have been paid to attend Prince William's Art Flop Prize, my family. You know? Now, my family, allow me to remind you of a detail you may have forgotten. The words of Heidi Klum, my family, who was uh, called upon to my family attend Prince William's Art Floor Prize in uh, South Africa, my family. I want to remind you what Heidi Klum my family, you know, said about being there. You know, just so you know, you know, the differences even between Prince Harry and my family, you know, Prince William. There's a huge, huge difference between Harry and William, my family. So my family, can you please hear this? What Heidi Klum, my family, you know, said kindly, you know? Heidi Klum, my family. I have to be honest, I had never heard of uh, this before. And it was really uh, when Prince William's team came to me and asked me if I would want to join and come to South Africa and nominate and, you know, be on the stage and, and spread the word about, you know, what this is all about. It's amazing organizations and what they My do. family. Heidi Klum said that my family, she had never ever heard of William's Art Flow Prize. And that she was approached by Prince William's team, meaning paid by Prince William's team to come over, my family, you know, and attend the Art Flow Prize. Because family William wants to, you know, Promote his my family art flop prize. And also he is using American celebrities to do what he's doing. The same American celebrities that my family William clearly, thanks to Harry's memoir spare, we know for a fact that my family William does not think highly of my family, you know, Americans. How do we know this? From Harry's memoir spare. Whereby William was full of xenophobia the moment he found out that Prince Harry was dating an American, my family, actress. In the words of Prince Harry from his memoir spare, let me read you what um, my family, even Harry said 
straight from uh, Spear. How William even spoke about, you know, Megan. You know, my family, what William did to Megan, you know, honestly, is unforgivable. Is unforgivable. And I quote, you know, William had been pretty discouraging about her even dating Megan. One day, sitting together in his garden, he predicted a host of difficulties I could expect if I hooked up with an American actress. A phrase he always managed to make sound like a convicted felon. Are you sure about her, Harold? I am, Willie. But do you know how difficult it's going to be? What do you want me to do, William? Fall out of love with her? My family, one thing that I have noticed about Prince William is that whatever Harry has, he wants for himself. He wants for himself. My family, he was not discouraging Harry from being with Meghan because he loves and cares for Prince Harry. It's because he was jealous. William was jealous about Harry and Meghan's relationship. My family, William was jealous about Harry and Meghan's relationship. My family, that's, that's Prince William. He was full of envy and full of jealousy. My family, towards Harry and Meghan. That's Prince William. That's who he is. That's how he is. And that's my family, how William has always behaved. You know? Whatever Harry has, he wants for himself. And if he can't have what Harry has, he'll prefer to ruin whatever my family Harry has. Like what he's tried to do for a long time by going after Megan. He's been trying to destroy Harry and Megan's love story. My family. Using even just enough you can tell it as a weapon against Harry and Megan. My family, you know, you can media talk so much about healing the rift. But my family, with someone like Prince William, you know, Harry is way, way much better off without having someone like William in his life. Of course, my family, Harry knows better than I do. Maybe he sees something that I don't see. But my family, after what William has done to Prince Harry, after how he has gone after Megan, I believe that my family, in the strongest terms possible, that Harry will always be way much better off without having William, Kate, Charles, or Camilla, my family, in his life. Harry is way much better off, my family. That's the truth and nothing but the truth, my family. You know? But the truth and nothing but the truth. Even right now as you speak, when UK media keep, keep on demanding or calling for, you know, um, Harry and Meghan to separate, those my family calls, all demands, come straight from the palace. It comes straight from the palace. You know? And my family, William is still competing against Harry in his one-sided competition that is ongoing against his brother, Prince Harry. I think is no matter what William does, whatever he tries to do, he will never, ever be like Prince Harry. Never, never. My family, his own art flow price, my family, not doing so well. Because even those who are paid, like Heidi Klum, who was paid to come over and, at, and, and attempt to try and promote William's art flow price, don't even know what it's about. Don't even know what it's about. My family, it's no wonder why you're seeing carnival of so-called experts trying to attach Prince Harry's amazing work with the Invictus Games onto Prince William. 
with William's name by calling William the co-founder of the Invictus Games. My family, if there is a co-founder, as I've always said, it's Prince Harry. If there is a founder, it's Prince Harry, my family. William never even supported Prince Harry. When Prince Harry was doing everything in his power to create the in Victor's games. And thanks to Harry's memoir spare, we know that for a fact. However, we are seeing UK media trying to, my family, attach William onto the Victor's games. My family, let me just ask you all a question. Let me just ask a question here. If it's true, if it's really, really true that Artflop is doing so well. Williams, my family, Arthur Prize, or whatever it's called, is doing so well. Then how come UK media are trying so hard to link William to my family, Harry's Invitas Games? And that even those who William pays to come to come my family and you know promote his Arthur Prize, don't even know what it's about. Don't even know what it's about. Jelly Roll. My family, who has been paid to perform at the Invictus Games 2025 family, he knows what it's about. He knows what it's about. And my family, I believe you can expect a fantastic performance from Jelly Roll. A tale, my family, also of two brothers is what we can see. My family, and clearly, Harry and William are extremely different. And no wonder William has been trying so hard to destroy both Harry and Meghan because he knows he can't compete. He can't compete. Harry will always be better at doing things than him. He knows it. I know it. You know it. And most of the carnival of so-called experts know that as well. And that's why they always saying, oh, you know what? Harry was supposed to be William, William's wingman. He was supposed to always just support Prince William. You know, my family, UK media, even they believe and know William can never ever stand on his own. Even they know it. They know that William cannot stand on his own. They know that. You know, and they're always asking Harry to destroy his own life, abandon my family, his own family, Megan, Archie, Lily, to come and do what? Follow William around? To carry him because William can't walk on his own unless Harry is on his knees. William can't stand on his own unless Harry is on his knees. My family, it just ain't right. It just, my family, ain't right. And as the saying goes, if you can only stand when someone else is on their knees, you've got a very, very serious problem. And William has got a very very serious problem. He will never ever be like Harry. Never. No matter how hard he tries. He can't compete with Harry. No matter how hard he tries. Harry will always be way much better than Prince William. A million times over. My family. In the story of Cain versus Abel. The my family I like to reference so much. Everything Abel touched was perfect. So perfect, so amazing. But, and then my family, Cain, whatever he touched, things were not, my family, didn't work, did not work out for him as my family, you know, for Abel. And he became full of envy. He became so jealous that sadly, he took his own brother's life. He thought he'd then become accepted. He wasn't. He wasn't. Even right now, William is using UK media to try and destroy Harry Meghan's lives, hoping that eventually he'll become the one who is accepted. Let me tell him this, William, in this day and age, your evil quests will not succeed, shall not succeed. And we are calling upon you, William and Charles, to call off this mere campaign against Harry and Meghan. To tell the top media to back off of Harry and Meghan and let them live and work in peace and raise their kids in peace. 
without being bullied, harassed, insulted, and racially abused. William and Charles, call off your hounds. Tell them to back off of Harry and Meghan. Tell them. For once, do something right and command your minions in the UK to the media to stop targeting everyone in Harry and Meghan's circle. Your attempts at isolating Harry and Meghan, it just isn't working. People want to be around Harry and Meghan. And those who meet them only have but nice words to say about Harry and Meghan. This mere campaign is failing. It is failing, it is failing, it is failing. And the firm knows that. UK media, they know that. And my family, they really need to leave Harry and Meghan alone. They need to. They need to. They need to. They need to leave Harry and Meghan alone. Now, my family, I believe I have said enough. You tell me kindly your thoughts about what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lily Bettina and Doria Ragland and all of you members of the squad at home. never wins. Love wins and stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever and may no weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie and also Lily Bet, Diana, my family ever prosper. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.